Starting today, interest on federal student loans is going to begin to accrue once again after more than three years on pause due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Then in a month, borrowers will have to start making payments on their loans once again. But the White House says it's still finding ways to offer borrowers a little breathing room after its sweeping student loan cancellation plan was rejected by the Supreme Court this summer. ABC's Jay O'Brien joins us from Washington, D.C. with the story, Jay. Yeah, think back to March of 2020. That is when these loans were first put on pause. Then they were delayed again and again and again. Now those repayments are starting back up again. The clock now winding down to when student loan borrowers need to start repaying their loans once more. Starting Friday, September 1st, the Department of Education says borrowers will once again start to be charged interest on their loans. Then repayments on those loans will resume in October. For more than three years since March 2020, student loan payments and interest charges on that debt have been paused due to the pandemic. Moves to lift that pause and resume payments kept getting delayed again and again and again as the economic toll from COVID continued. Then last year, President Biden tried to cancel up to $20,000 in federal student loan debt per borrower, totaling an estimated $400 billion. All this means people can start finally crawl out from under that mountain of debt. But the Supreme Court rejected that plan, saying the president had overstepped his authority. And in a deal with Republicans to raise the debt ceiling this June, President Biden agreed to resume loan repayments by the end of this summer. But now the White House says it's still trying to ease borrowers' pain, giving relief to those who enrolled in an income-driven repayment plan, or IDR, which allows student loan debts to be forgiven by the federal government once payments have been made for 20 or 25 years. It's going to give borrowers a little bit more breathing room. The administration also rolling out a new IDR for borrowers, which will aim to lower monthly payments for Americans. The administration says the move will ultimately cancel debt for more than 800,000 borrowers. That effort rejected by the president's GOP critics as unfair to those who didn't go to college or take out loans. The top Republican on the House Education Committee calling it shameful and a blatantly political attempt to circumvent the Supreme Court. If you're a borrower, financial experts say now is the time to figure out who your loan servicer is. It might have changed during the pandemic. Then they say check your balance and make a plan to resume those payments.